Middle, most of your force is the deltoid. You know the deltoid comes off the lateral third of the clavicle, the border of the acromion, and the spine of the scapula. That's all of its origin coming down to the deltoid tuberosity. We know that if we want to activate all those fibers together, we have the person do what? Abduction. So you know, when you come out like this into abduction, and then we want to resist it. So hold, don't let me push you down. Okay? okay. So we can see that as you're quivering. <laughs> So now if we want to distinguish between the sets of fibers, then we can ask them to do the things they like to do by themselves. In the case of the posterior deltoid, it likes to abduct, but it also likes to externally rotate and extend. Oh, Hold, don't let me pull you. And I can resist the extension, I can resist the external rotation, or I can resist both. Okay? And it pops out for me. Okay? Conversely, if I want to get the anterior fibers, I'm just, you know, I'm just get these again. I know they abduct, so I like to do that. Now I'm going to have her internally rotate, right? And flex a little bit, horizontally adduct like this, and hold, don't let me pull you. And we see them pop out right here. Now what else is active up there? The okay. The particular the clavicular fibers, since so she's in a flexion. So hold. Okay. So I've got to now distinguish. This is coming off of her clavicle clear up here on the medial third, not the lateral third. This is coming off the lateral third. That makes this the anterior deltoid right here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This we already found. We already know what this is, right? That's pec major. So we have to make a distinction there between those muscles. Then what's in between is the middle fibers. Okay? It's going to be better defined on some of you than on others.